I'm back. I'm gonna go into disgusting amounts of detail. You don't even know my full name. Max is struggling with his back. Oh, I really need to have kids. I dipped it in your tea, sorry. I didn't want biscuit crumbs in my tea. <laughs> Maybe it's stuck in the bush. I'll probably rescue it if it is. Are you good, bro? Hey. You okay. I would come and give you a stroke, but there's a, lots of thorns here. Ah, oh, he's good. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, he just can't walk yet. Oh, lovely. He's just doing a poo. Oh, poor fella was just backed up. I make that noise when I need the toilet that bad too. He's good. He doesn't need rescuing. Well, that wasn't the introduction that I was expecting, but um, it's the introduction that is. So today, I'm back. First of all, I'm wearing an unbranded hat, which Jordan's almost definitely gonna not be happy about. But I can't find my other one, and I'm not having a very good hair day. So, you know, people have come to expect certain things of this mullet, and it's just not, not giving out today. So I've had to cover it over. I've actually got a very easy job. So, I'm gonna go into disgusting amounts of detail on this very simple job, on how to do it and pretend it's not just because Jordan said I need to film something because people are worried that I've quit. So it's not because of that. It's because I want to show you how to put up two pendants and two outside lights. So this um, has got the feed at the switch and you can tell that from the way it is. I'm sorry, I was just joking. There's a video on YouTube, which I'm hoping Nathan, Nathan will reference. And it's called Bad Nature Guide. And he's like, that over there is an Aspen. You can tell that by the way it is. Look at this. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. But no, I'm actually going to show you in detail. There you go. If you're, if you're annoyed because you didn't know that, well, maybe it's not too simple a video. Maybe there is some benefit there for you. But I can tell that because if it was fed it, if it was a feed to the ceiling row, it's basically the difference between two plate and three plate, as we call it. I'm expecting one cable in here. Oh, okay, they're on different switches. Well, now I just look dumb. Who's got egg on their face? This is obviously fed from the switch as well. Let's just switch it on, shall we? I thought that it was just feed it switch, first light, second light. I thought wrong, oh, I hate these things. If you have blue tacks, sometimes you can just pop them out. They are literally there just to annoy the next electrician. All right, let me get a knife. I bought a Bosch Go, a little zip zip screwdriver. But it's always in my van. And I can never be bothered to go and walk to get it. And it can, so it can basically, if I have arthritis and repetitive strain now, out of complete laz laziness. What I'm expecting to see in here, if it is a feed it switch, is a uh, feed it switch, first of all, and a neutral. Oh dear, it's a bit, a bit loose, isn't it? So there's my neutral. So there is a feed here at the switch. So that's okay. Let's see which one does which. Oh, so they are, they are on together. It's weird that there's two two wires in that one then as well. Maybe it doesn't feed out somewhere else, does it? Because what, what you'd expect to see would be that to be the end of line, but it loops off somewhere else as well. Oh, unless they drop the feed down to that switch as well, just in case. Surprised if they've done it that way. Yes, that is, that's strange, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Pop it down and see what happens. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah, I think I know what it is. Figured it out. I think you've got a feed, because you've got way more cables here than what you need. I think you've got a feed coming from the switch to that light, the switch to that light. There's also a link between them, so that if you want to link them out, you can. Or if you want to have them switched separately, you can. But that doesn't really make sense, because you could just switch it separately from here. But there's enough cables back here to make sense that that's what's going on. So, 
I think that's what it is. So first things first, switch the power off. That's got it. So we've already asked for permission. So let's quickly lock that off and just prove it's dead. Oh, is there a cup of tea there? It's a little thing's a knife. I dipped it in your tea, sorry. I didn't want biscuit crumbs in my tea. Jordan and Elijah were like, we need to do a video. You've not done one in ages. And people are starting to wonder and worry about you because the video that released the other day, some smart people could tell that that wasn't filmed the other day. That was filmed like two months ago or something. But I just haven't done many videos. But I'm all right, I'm doing good. And I'm hoping that you're happy to have me back and I have been very busy. Um, and I've also been away a little bit, hence the tan, which I'm really hoping is showing on camera. Um, right, another little tip for you. If you're swapping something over, even though it's dead, ignore the uh, bullet holes in my cutters. I don't know how they got there. Um, just chop the neutral back because otherwise what's gonna happen is the earth is going to touch it and it's going to trip the RCD. In fact, I can explain to you the reasons for that. But in fact, what would be better is if you right now, no experts allowed, if you as an apprentice right now, comment below on the reasons why you think that that would trip an RCD, even though the MCB is off. So I've got a single pole MCB, which I've isolated and locked off. But if I touch the neutral to the earth, it's still gonna trip. Why is that? Tell me below. Okay, so I've got the cables off. Oh, there's wood right there. That's probably why they put the pendant there. Smart. Um, what I'm thinking is, let's get this up first. This is my little CBA to walk to the van trick. I have that on me and it kind of has pretty much everything to a basic level and it saves me walking to the van a lot, I keep it in my bag. Link to that is in the description below. Lovely. Can be a little bit tiring though sometimes, the old YouTube. I do like it. And it's nice being able to help people out a little bit. It is sometimes a stream of negative nillies of people that um, think they know you. Whereas actually, I'm, you don't even know my full name. Corey's not my full name. Have you ever wondered what Corey's short for? If you stick around for the rest of this video, so that the engagement goes up. And we can share this video with like tons more people because YouTube think it's more interesting. Then maybe I'll tell you my full name at the end. Comment what you think Corey is short for. And remember, there's kids in the comments. I really need to have kids just so that they can organize stuff like that. I can just get them to tidy my van, organize my Wago boxes. Literally, what, what else is the point of having kids if it's not to organize and do all the things that you don't want to do and make it a game? Like, if you tell a kid, tidy up my Wago box, they're not gonna do it. If you tell a kid, I bet you couldn't tidy up that Wago box in 10 minutes and be like, I know this is a stupid game. You're running out of time that box is going to be organised. I do it to Ruben all the time. I say, Ruben, can you, uh, can you grab my coffee out of the van? He's like, I'm not grabbing your coffee, I'm not a slave. I bet you couldn't get the coffee out of the van in 10 seconds. You watch him slide out there. All right, consider yourself waygoed. Is there no earth lug on this? Surely that wants an earth lug. Come with one. And she doesn't mention it, but I really feel like I should put an earthlug on that. I don't really have the right stuff for this. And I'm out in the absolute middle of nowhere. You saw the sheep or the lamb. Um, but I'm gonna try and make it safer. So now we have an earth, so I've put a little uh, M6 by M10 lug on that. 
yes, it is brown. But I'm doing it just in case, because I feel like it probably should be earthed because it's metal, that bit. The thing, sometimes you can't really always trust manufacturers, even ones like John Lewis, to make sure they're meeting regs, because you might meet regs in Italy or China or somewhere. But it doesn't necessarily mean it does here, so you've kind of got to use your noggin. Here's a question for you guys. Would you, in this situation, on this job, would you produce a minor work certificate? Or would you not bother? Bear in mind, I've not adjusted the wiring, I've not added anything, I've just literally swapped over a pendant. Oh, swapped over a pendant. Is that worthy of it? I'm pretty sure those caps aren't actually for aesthetics. Those caps were designed for if you've got no earth in a back box and you want to you replace it for a plastic light fitting and then you cover over the screws as well so there's no contact with the metal. That's my special insulated model of the Bosch Go. So you that on eBay. So this has just been screwed straight into plasterboard. There's no uh, wood behind this one, I don't think. The customer's given me these, but I used to always keep them on my van and I just sort of forgot they existed. This is probably lovely audio. I just forgot they existed, to be honest. But they're really good. So I'll show you how these work. I was wrong, there is wood there. It was just a bit deeper. But what you do, that just hooks in there like that and then as you squeeze it it umbrellas out like that and holds it tight against the plasterboard so you get get a screw just finger tight and you're really not going to get much more of a solid fixing than that and that is going to be Absolutely solid. So I really, I needed Reuben stay. These are actually, for if it's cold, and you're only able to tell what temperature it is, you just whoop, About seven degrees. So being a new build, they've obviously given them the option for outside lighting, but they've just put it in a uh, lens, lens box. So there we have it. We'll nip that off and put a, uh, a nice light fitting on for them. I'm so glad that you guys were able to come along on the ride with me. So, there's a reason why I'm taking this off while it's still live. Do you remember my question? Have you commented yet? Where I said, would you issue a minor work certificate for what is technically a like-for-like -like replacement? The answer is yes and no. No, really for a like-for-like -like replacement, you don't have to issue a certificate. Um, because it kind of comes more under maintenance. However, yes, Jordan does like to do them as a company. We do them for anything that we touch, so I do. And to be honest, it's not a bad idea really, is it, when you think all you're doing is confirming that things are as they should be. So you're confirming the, the bonding is there, making sure the RCD is still working on that circuit, and you're making sure that the uh, the earth is there because you're doing an R1 plus R2 and a ZF, so it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good habit to get into, so we just issue one anyways. And there's your answer. <whistles> 70.8. So as promised, thank you for staying this long. Um, 
for those that care, I'll show you my full name. I'll see if I've got, I think I've got an ID card in here somewhere. Okay, there you go. So, it's Corey Normus Mc, Mc, McMillan. Um, yeah, Corey Normus McMillan. My mum still calls me Corey Normus, but to you it's Corey. Just call me Corey. Um, yeah, obviously it was a bit of a hard time in school having a name like that. But um, now you know. You can change me in your phone. Change my contact cards. And uh, that actually brings us to today's sponsor, Ridge Wallets, who have kindly sent me this to try out and have uh, given us a code down below. And uh, I have to say, it has really grown on me. I do actually like it because I don't even really know that it's in my pocket. It's so small and slim and it's forced me to chuck away all of my tens of thousands of useless cards. So I just have what I need in there and it's got a cash strap in the back for all the cash that I don't have. Um, and it's got the RFID blocking and things. So thank you very much, Ridge, for making today's videos possible. And uh, go check out our code if you want to get your own one. Cool, so this is on. Really smart looking light actually. It's from John Lewis, one that the customer has supplied himself. And these are the two lights here, which I actually really like as well. Super stylish. So, yeah, that is all for today. You don't need me anymore. You've got the powerhouse of knowledge that is John. You've got the massive muscle that is Lee and Luke. And you've got Jordan. So, you really don't need me. <laughs> but I appreciate all the uh, comments on the last video anyway, asking for me to come back. Max is struggling with his back because he's horrendously unfit and that camera weighs about three kilograms. So I'm gonna end the video here to, for Max's back sake. Thank you very much, lots of love to you all. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.